I had posted about loaded coil dipole antenna earlier which is a means of electrically shortening the physical length of a dipole antenna for those with space constraints using a loading coil. It is useful for single band operation with narrow bandwidth. Of course, it is a trade-off between performance and fitting a dipole into a shorter available space. I just came up on the concept of linear loaded dipole antenna on Twitter or X. It is actually a fancy way of saying fall back on itself according to M0PZT. Overall length is reduced without adding a loading coil and performance is still good for those with only a small garden like me to mount conventional dipole antenna. It can be used in horizontal, inverted V or sloper patterns. M0PZT has a 40 meter antenna which has an overall length of 12 meter only which is only a bit longer than a 20 meter antenna and sounds nice. More interesting for me is the suggested 80 meter antenna at 27.8 meter length which I may try when the solar cycle 25 starts coming down and higher bands go down. But I will need zigzag mounting for 27.8 meter length as I am just able to squeeze in my 20 meter long inverted V 40 meter antenna here. The antenna elements could be built using a ladder line or with PVC pipe pieces as separators between the folded components. A 1 is to 1 current balance is used at the feed point and a standard 50 ohms coax takes the signal to and from the radio. M0PZT has used 20 mm PVC pipes as spreaders to keep distance between the folded components at 50 mm. Folded parts of the wire should be parallel to each other requiring at least 1.6 mm thick wires. Like the loaded coil dipole, linear loaded dipole also has a narrow bandwidth and might need a tuner to touch up the VSWR at the radio end. Still it is said to be a good compromise antenna when you do not have the space to install a full size dipole antenna. Still more interesting is the linear loaded dipole antenna used by 9V1KG which has three folded layers just as we have two fold and three fold umbrellas. Wonder anyone has higher number of folds as well. We have even five fold umbrellas here to fit into a small handbag. As the feed point impedance was 10 ohms, 9V1KG used a quarter wave transmission line transformer with two parallelly connected 50 ohms coaxial cables to match to the 50 ohms impedance of the radio. One of the readers suggested 1 is to 4 ballon instead of the transmission line transformer. 9V1KG could work DX from around the world on 15 meter CW using his linear loaded dipole antenna. That is yet another interesting option for hams like me with space constraints who are not a very small number among the city dwellers globally.